Hello everyone, this is Dr. Abhino and uh, in this video today we will be seeing about the CAPF medical officer exam. So CAPF is Central Armed Police Forces. So these forces have uh, many branches in them. So such as ITB, uh, ITBP, SSB and many of those things. So the CAPF forces, they have hospitals uh, under them. So that's uh, uh, present throughout the India. So they conduct examinations, medical officer exam for uh, MBBS uh, specialist and even for the super specialist. So uh, you must know about uh, how the how good the hospital will be them. So this is also a central government job. So they had uh, conducted this exam recently. So probably uh, another exam might be uh, conducted this year. So before we start the video, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Now let's start. So basically, uh, CAPF stands for Central Armed Police Forces, they are security forces. Uh, they comprise of uh, PSF, that is Border Security Forces, Central Reserve Police Forces, indo tibetan Border Police, uh, Shashatra, Seema Bal, and Assam Rifles, and there are many more. For now, they are uh, recruiting uh, under these five uh, forces okay so they have hospitals uh, each uh, forces has hospital separately for them and now they are recruiting doctors for their hospitals so the qualification for this exam is uh, uh, basically MBBS degree or it's equivalent and you can currently be doing a CIRA internship but at the time of joining you should have completed the internship so in this video mainly I'll be talking about the MBBS medical officer recruitment alone. The specialist and super specialist I have not included in this one. Okay, so the age limit for a medical officer is to uh, attend give this exam is thirty years. So how will the selection process be? The selection process is like this: the eligible candidates, once you apply, the eligible candidates will be called for an interview, and uh, the interview will be conducted by a board of officers at a designated center. So what they will do is that they will just uh, uh, assess you. So it will, the exam interview will be for a total of 200 marks. So what they will mainly test you is on the general knowledge, the ability of the candidate in the field of their academic study. So we'll be asked about questions uh, about medicine and all those things. Nature of personality test to assess the candidates, intellectual curiosity, balance of judgment, alertness of mind ability of social cohesion, integrity of character, initiative and capability of leadership. So make sure you uh, go through about all these things. So the minimum standard for the purpose of selection at the interview shall be 40% of the total marks prescribed for interview. So the interview is for two, around 200 marks and 40% of it will be uh, around 80 marks. So you should score at least 80 marks in the interview in order to go to the medical test and get, and get selected. So this is how it goes. Once you apply, you will be called for the interview and uh, the interview uh, will be tested on these things. The interview is for 200 marks, should score at least about 80 marks. So then after you have completed your interview, uh, if you are successful, then you will be called for the uh, medical examination. So this is usually happening on the next day itself. After the medical general medical examination, uh, you will be declared either fit or unfit for the post. So if you are unfit, you can uh, uh, Reapply uh, re again for the medical examination and can have the medical examination again. So then a merit list will be released on the basis of the aggregate marks. So the basis of the interview marks and uh, your uh, uh, SCST or OBC, all those categories, with all those things, they will release a merit list in which the selected candidate's name will be given. So uh, the salary for this exam basically is 56,100 to 177,500 per month plus other benefits like non-practicing allowance, BNS allowance, transport allowance, house rent allowance. So you can't have your private practice while uh, if you are a doctor in CRPF. That's why they are giving you non-practicing allowance. So usually the salary ranges from this, but basically it will be around a uh, lakh. So it's good uh, for a MBBS doctor. And then if you want to do a PG course, you can do after giving five years of service. So this is same like ESIC also. You will have to here here you will have to work for five years and then you can uh, do a PG course. If you if you want to 
resume your job continue your job as a crpf medical officer even after doing your pg then you will have to work initially in the uh, crpf hospital for 5 years then get get done with your pg course then come back to crpf again and continue your job as a pg doctor but if you get a pg course even before the 5 years of service then if you want to go to the pg course before the 5 years of service after doing your pg course you cannot come back to crpf and continue your same post because you have uh, terminated your contract with crpf and then you are going for pg but if you want to continue to do pg even after sorry if you want to continue to do as a crpf even after doing your pg course then you will have to first work in the crpf for a minimum of 5 year periods period and then go to pg course okay so the probation period will be 3 years so it's 2 years then uh, can be extended to 3 years so vacancies so this is the vacancy list of 2021 if you see here the super specialist medical officers uh, vacancy is 5 posts specialist officers 200 posts medical officers 345 dental surgeons two. so this vacancy if you divide it so this is how uh, vacancy is given in each uh, category of CAPF you see here in BSF the total of 85 so according to categories they have given the number of posts available in CRPF 75 77 SSB 51 ITBP 101 Assam Rifles 31 so total of 345 posts for uh, coming under the hospitals of CAPF under these hospitals okay so this is the uh, uh, vacancy list of 2021 so if you want to attend the exam that is coming in 2022 probably in the later half of the year so what you'll have to do is if you're uh, interested then you'll have to apply through online only online applications are accepted so you'll have to go to go to this website and apply here candidates are advised to fill their profile and apply the on apply the online application from form strictly as per the eligibility criteria and instructions given to avoid disqualification at a later stage so make sure you are uh, aware of what you're feeling and uh, you should also upload a clear photo, legible photo and all those kind of things. Upload your proper documents. You can also refer to the FAQs and how to register on the website. So application fee for male candidates belonging to unreserved OBC and EWS will have to pay 400 rupees. For uh, female candidates, it is not required. And candidates belonging to SC, STS servicemen, uh, no need to pay their fees. So postings. Postings, uh, if you want to work in ITBP or selectively if you want to work in SSP, then you will have to uh, mention it while filling the application form. So for the posts of uh, senior specialist medical officer, medical officer, dental surgeon, you will have to indicate their choice of preference in any one or more CAPs. So if you want to work in ITBP, then you will have to mention ITBP as your first choice. Then second choice is CRPF and that kind of things. For the purpose, he, she will be required to indicate the choice of CAPF for which he, she wishes to be considered in order of preference. While making appointment, due consideration will be given the preference exercise by the candidate and having regard to his or rank in order of merit. So while uh, applying, you'll have to apply uh, your uh, preferences, but it is not 100% that you will get that uh, uh, if you apply for IDBP, then you will get for ID, IDBP. It's not like that. If you score a very good rank, then there are more chances of you getting in the post which you have uh, asked for. So this is about the uh, CAPF uh, medical officer recruitment. So this exam was recently conducted this year and uh, probably will be conducted in 2022 also. So watch out for it. So keep sub uh, subscribe to our channel. So uh, when there is a recruitment notice, I will inform you. And also, this is a good option for you to pursue your career in because if you see here, there is a recruitment for MBBS specialist and even for super specialist. In the hospitals are also really good. Uh, regarding the interview, how will it be done? If you want, I can cover it in a separate video. So please mention it in the comment section. I, will, I can cover it in a separate video. So that's all for today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Thank you.